In early Christian history, God was seen as possessing no color. Mystics such as Dionysus the Areopagite and Dennis the Carthusian viewed the experience of God as a union with a divine darkness. But others, such as Origen and Augustine of Hippo, claimed that the spirit, the psyche, and the physical each possessed their own unique color. The color of God, therefore, must be pure white light the color from which all others come. For 1400 years, this was merely an academic argument between theologians, but in the late 14th century, a revolution in painting technique created incredibly bold colors, unlike anything seen before in religious iconography, and suddenly it mattered very much which colors were sacred and which were profane. By 1400, their most Catholic majesties of imperial Spain had declared their allegiance with the Aropagites, and the Spanish court wore all black as a symbol of God's divine grace. The new Anglican church, however, declared white and red to be the colors that best suited the monarchy as the link in the chain between God and man. The French court, by contrast, declared that it would be red and green. The German states were as divided on this point as they were on everything else, even under the leadership of the waning Habsburg Empire. This was an issue of life, death, and salvation for the artists of the time, and so they fought the secret war of sacred colors. The Flemish painter Jan van Eyck, the undisputed master of his time, began to include hidden messages in his paintings, tracking the state of the conflict. Van Eyck's 1430 Hent altarpiece clothes holy figures in red, green, blue, and black, while sinful Adam and Eve are naked and alone. This was a setting of the chessboard on which the secret war would be fought between the greatest artists of the period. In 1435, Van Eyck portrayed the Virgin Mary in red and her Chancellor in black, showing a victory by Northern Europe. By 1438, he painted the Madonna herself clothed in black and red, demonstrating a shift towards the Spanish interpretation. And a year later, the Virgin Mary was portrayed entirely in black. The Aropagites seemed to have triumphed. But prior to his death in 1441, the tide turned, and Van Eyck documented the defeat of divine darkness, declaring bright colors to be the key that unlocks the holy order. The Spanish style was crushed. A new hierarchy of color was established among artistic secret societies, supported by occult organizations, such as the Order of the Rosy Cross. The result was a secret language of color transmitted by religious artists over hundreds of years from the studios of Bruges to contemporary surrealists such as Salvador Dali and Judson Huss. Each of them has been given a code, one which, according to the ancient masters, unlocks the secrets to the spirit. When the eyes of God are upon you, the colors you wear determine the state of your soul. Christus, es not us, ex Maria, but in me, God,